the Tech Temple. All right, welcome back. This is Wiseman White again here with the next part and this uh, whole overview of in depth of ice cream sandwich, what it's like. Um, so before I showed you the app drawer and the home screen and all of that, and uh, I forgot to put my clock back on, so let me go ahead and put that back on. Scroll over. Um, oh, I think I passed it. And what this video is going to be about is about uh, the messaging. So you know, if you watch my previous videos, you know that I stand by, live by Handsent. I've been using Handsent since I got on Android a couple years ago. And every time I get a new build, I always keep Handsent. I don't go with stock. But this ice cream sandwich version is official. I, this The way that it looks, it's just so clean. Like, I didn't even buy I had Handsent and I uninstalled it. So I'm going to take you a uh, overview of the messaging. So here we go with the messaging app. So right right away you can tell it's uh, built for just not having to press the menu button all the time. You wanna it has everything pretty much on here already. So right here, if you want to compose a new message, you just hit the bottom, and if you want to attach, there's an attachment button right there. Search key, there's a search right there. For those people that don't have search key, since the Galaxy Nexus doesn't have a search key, which I don't agree with, but. And what's also nice, it tells you how many unread messages you have. So all the unread messages are in white, and the red messages are in gray. Uh, after I check this one, you can see, well, I want to show you the phone number. <laughs> but uh, now you can see it's gone. But let me compose a message. Uh, and right there is the enter button. You can see it's kind of like an arrow. Um, it's also neat. Uh, we'll go back to here. And I'll show you in the settings what you can do. Delete all messages like all it always as after you get to a certain limit. So I said I'm on a 500. How many multimedia message limit? Build every report. So it's the standard uh, options. Then you get to pick the sounds. And the sounds notifications are really nice. To me, it's kind of hard to find a sound that's not too loud. It's not too soft. And I feel like this ICS has a lot of sounds that are just right. And we'll select. I said let's go into compose a message and. Um, let's see. I do the detect temple because you can, if you need help, you can always call the tech temple. So let me do that. All right. So at the same time, I also show to show off the keyboard. Um, when you notice when you type in your message and you press the message field, no more can you you can't if you hold it, it won't come up to switch keyboard. Now what you have to do is when you press the message when it says type message in the field now you'll see that third icon from the uh, left is the keyboard. So you slide this down and that's how you select your new keyboard. So I'll go back to the style keyboard and alright. This is a style keyboard. Um, It's pretty nice. Like so all the I think Android has the, the default keyboard has the most options because I don't know where else you would find pi, um, divide by, multiply, pound symbol without having to uh, get a second option. So let's go back to the ABC. Um, it's a pretty legit keyboard. The correction is really, really nice. So let's say I put what's up. What's up. But um, I forgot to separate them. So let's say uh, going on. There's the red. So I forgot to separate the word. So what it does, if you press it, and there's your new menu. So you said <laughs> it gave me clubbing, flinging, but going on, you just tap that. And if it is the correct word, you just add to the dictionary, or you can also delete it. So I just do going on. But let's see. I'll do my phrase I normally do. Uh, didn't get on, but I mean, you can see it's pretty good when the world's going on. I missed the last word. I mean, you saw the autocorrect, it's pretty legit. Um, what's also nice that they finally changed. I, I noticed that what they did with Ice Cream Sandwich is they tried to incorporate uh, more stock stuff so you would not have to download a separate app. 
So I know in the separate apps, I would always get the stock keyboard because I would get a different keyboard than the stock because I could change the uh, the feedback. So, but what's nice about this, you press the, go to the settings here. Well, let me go to the keyboard settings. Um, pass it, language and input. And go to the keyboard settings for Android. Auto capitalization, sound on key press. Um, the voice again, show settings key. I should probably tap that. The auto correction and advanced settings. So this is a lot of nice. The vibration. So let's say like I like a stronger vibration. Plus, if you have a case, it's going to take more to feel that vibration if you like to type. So what's nice is you can adjust it to make to little or to as much vibration as you would like so that is nice if you don't want it to suggest contact names you can uncheck that and it's and it also goes alpha words that you previously used but you didn't add to your dictionary it uses those words too and the the key pop-up display that's also nice so let's say um, normally when you want to press the one on the keyboard or the alternate uh, number like if I want to hit this one on this cue Normally what you have to do is wait till it pops up and you'll see a pop up. But since I have the option checked, one just came up automatically. Like four. It's really, really quick. So that's nice. And what's also changed is copy paste. So copy paste, normally what would you do? You would double tap, highlight a word, the big menu would come up, but not anymore. So let's say I wanna uh replace Let's say if I want to do this, blah, 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 blah. And I type the wrong, I put brick. I put the wrong word. What you want to do is you can double tap, replace. It's got the it's got the nice little new things on. So you double tap that and you hit trouble. Oh, I forget tonight. Or tonight. Car. No, oh, I can't hit it. All right, so tonight car. But you double tap, and instead of cut, copy, paste, there, there's no cut, copy, paste. Instead, everything is at the top. So if I want to select all, I hit this set, this first option. It selects everything. If I just want to cut that, I just hit the scissors. And if I want to uh, paste it, you just hold the cursor where you want to paste it and then you see the options are automatically already present and you hit paste or you could do uh, copy and there's the clipboard uh, I don't know what this is paste and it goes away so that's nice it's nice that everything's up here now and you don't have that big blocky menu coming up and these uh the selection tools are also a lot better, a lot smoother, and I know it's just a lot easier to highlight text with these. So there's the keyboard, and there's the stock Western app. Um, and now I got my settings back, and I also show you that now there's that's one thing you see me when I type I type board bed, but. I know when I type, a lot of times I forget to press the space bar. Sometimes, I don't know if it's just me, like my thumb doesn't go down there all enough, or I, I just don't press it. But what's nice about this keyboard, it recognizes two words. So I put board bed. It knows board bed is not a compound word. But look at this highlight option. It knows that to put a space in between. So I think that's really nice. I haven't seen that on many keyboards. I haven't seen that on any iteration of the stock keyboard. So that's nice that Google stepped it up a little bit. And since we're on the subject of messaging, I'll just show you Google Talk really quickly. And Google Talk. Um, so there you go. It shows Google Talk. You can see it's been everything is matching. You can see this kind of matches the mimics the stock messaging app. Now from here, you can uh, add a person right there. If you have a person that's not on your list, you want to invite them. Hit cancel. You want to search for somebody or search through the conversations like you talked about something but you can't find it you press that and anybody that has a camera by them 
That means that you can video chat with them. Either they have a front facing webcam on their phone like you do right here on the uh, Nexus S or they're on their computer. And uh, if they have a microphone, that means all you can do is uh, voice chat, which is kind of nice. Let's say you, like, you don't have any minutes left or you're close on ending minutes. You just get on Google Talk and use the voice chat. The video chat and the voice chat do work. I tested them earlier. I don't have my laptop on right now, so I can't show you. But uh, I can at least show you the camera. It might come on. Let's see. But yeah, you can see like the front-facing camera or my camera showing <laughs> showing me. I'll exit that. But when you do that, you can also flip it around so people that you're talking to they can see what you're talking about, what you see in front of you. So you can flip it around also. And if they're grayed out, that means you were talking to them before, but that means they signed out. And what's also nice is, let me show you this real quick. Um, if they are, it shows you the status of what they are. So right here, I'm just using the Gmail account. Um, if somebody's on their phone, it'll tell you right there, like see? It says uh, on mobile device, so I that automatically know I own their mobile device. That way, um, sometimes they're on the computer, they're blowing you up too fast. Like, hey, slow down, I'm on my phone. But that's that, and also, there's a nice rotation animation again. So, there's the two chatting options Google Talk and um, the stop messaging app and what's also nice in talk is you can switch so I have two accounts on here my main account and then my business account for Tech Temple and you can switch just like that and switch nice and fast I'm surprised how fast it actually switched and the last thing I did not show you guys before I didn't show you the multitasking so we all got used to pressing the home button and we press the home button uh, what would happen? You would get a black box that would show you your last eight apps, six apps, or whatever. But what Google has done now on Ice Cream Sandwich, you hold the home button, and you get a list of everything you've done. So start from the bottom, the most recent app, and the top will have the least, the last app that you, or the first app you did. So my first app that I opened was a camera because when I unlocked it the first time, I showed you guys a camera. But let's say like your phone's kind of slowing down, or your list is getting too long. All you got to do to get rid of it is just swipe to the right. So market, I opened the market earlier, swipe to the right. And I noticed that when, like, when you're playing a game and you get a message and you want to go back to the game, if you hold the home button, like it'll keep your game's place. So you'll see a screenshot of your game of where you were. And it's, kinda, it's just a nice visual representation of your previous apps. And like I said, you just scroll over, scroll over. And so that's real quick. I just wanted to show you that multitasking. All right, so I showed you the, the messaging and the keyboard on ICS, and stay tuned for the next part of the series. Thanks.